So why we're all in uh, heading to New York uh, this weekend is because of this conference of, of parties, this official United Nations process. Um, that started, uh, the, the treaty was ratified in 1992, the work for it started, uh, started earlier, 1989. We've known about this for so long, but what have we done? So since 1990, global emissions have gone up over 60%. It's not that we haven't, you know, like, barely done enough. We've done worse than nothing. We've gone, we've gone to hell on emissions. I'm sorry, that's, that's like perfect, appropriate use of, that's going to hell. We are burning up this planet. It's a really slow motion process, and we keep putting more carbon, more methane, up into the atmosphere, and it's our kids. It's me, I'm a young person. I wanna have a future, I'd like to have kids. You know, I'm pissed off. This is, this cannot stand, so for me, this is about justice because look, in the United States, richest country in the world, spend spend you know a trillion dollars a year on the military. We can't we can't even take care of our own problem. We can't even fix our own emissions. And then, you know, we just heard from Lemon here, you know, we sabotage the international process. He's not making this up. You know, he feels like he's got to say, look, this comes from Der Spiegel, which is, you know, a good a good German newspaper slash journal. It's legitimate, I promise you. I can go, I can run through things for you. The United States is the single biggest problem. What does that mean? That means that us, all of us, we are the ones who can change this. We are the ones who need to change it. Because look, the poor folks around the globe, the people in the Philippines who get smashed by Super Typhoon Haiyan, uh, you, the indigenous folks up in Canada, these people have been fighting for half, half, uh, half a millennia. You know, they know what they're doing and they're fighting. They have their act together. It's us. It's us. It's us privileged, rich people. We're the problem. That means we can fix the problem. So, how do we do that? Well, this is, this is a damn good start right here. Everybody being here, everybody coming to New York, putting your bodies on the street and saying, look, I'm here, I'm with all these people that I don't know who they are. They they believe in some things that are that are different from me. But look, we're all together because this is such a big thing. We need everybody here to do it. Okay, so I say that because this march in New York, it's it's very big tent. It's on a weekend, and it's a march to nowhere. I'm a big supporter of the march. I've tried to get lots of people there. I'm of course going to be there. You know I'm a big supporter. That's why I'm here. But look, it's a march to nowhere. It's on a Sunday. The United, it's not even close to the United Nations. I'm sure all of you remember Hurricane Sandy. Manhattan was underwater, but you know, Manhattan of course was was barely hit compared to compared to some of the some of the poor, you know, uh, the, the the poor not white areas of the city, of course. Those are the people who are always hit. That's why for me this is this is this is an issue of justice. The poorest people who didn't do this always hit first, always hit worse, and it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. That's not fair. Okay, so on Monday, we are going to flood Wall Street with our bodies. We're gonna be wearing blue to symbolize, uh, to symbolize what's coming to us if we don't get our head out of the sand. It's just, it's unbelievable. So, yeah, I contrast this with the march because that march to nowhere, uh, United Nations, we're not even coming close to it. Who's the problem here? Wall Street. Wall Street. We know, we know Obama's done nothing. You know, he's, 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 he's terrible. I could, I could rant all night about Obama, but look, at the end of the day, Obama, even if he wanted to do everything, if he wanted to move mountains, he couldn't because he doesn't have the power. These corporations dominate our life. This political elite, this class of people, they run everything. I'm damn sick of it because we have the people. We have the power. We just have to take it. So look, it's not like on Monday you come down to Battery Park with us at 9 a.m. And, and participate in this and then game over. That's it. We win. But I tell you what, it does a lot the more bodies we get there because people need to see it. You know, um, he's no longer on here. I don't know if any of you got a chance to meet Barry. Uh, but he was carrying around a book by Howard Zinn uh, called SNCC, The New Abolitionist. Uh, SNCC, of course, is the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Uh, those people knew 
that you had to put your bodies on the line. How do you think, how do you think uh, Jim Crow, I mean, we still have some serious issues, of course, don't, don't let me uh, let you think that I think that, you know, we've addressed racism. We have not. We still have a lot of work to do. You know, what's going on if you're, if you're, uh, here, it's in here too, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're a poor black person, you know, like, yeah, I can't imagine what that's like because that's not the life that I live. That's why, that's why for me it's so important that, that I, I was loud enough before yeah. it got quiet. But, <laughs> yeah. You'll be good in the march. Yeah, I'll be good in the march, that's right. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, what I really want to stress here is that it's not going to fix the problem, but we need to do more of this. We need to take to the streets. The poor folks, the indigenous folks, they're already doing it. They're already putting their bodies on line because they get it. This is life or death. We need to move now. If the United States and other rich countries were going to do their fair share, our historic responsibility, you know what that would mean? That would mean now 10% every year emissions reductions. 10%. The crazy thing is that's not impossible. We could do that. We could do it and provide jobs to people. We could do it and provide homes to people. We could do it and provide a better life to people. But it's only going to happen when we take the power. So that's what, that's what I'm begging you to do, to work with each other and take the power because we can and we need to. I did, like, God bless you. I love you. Like, really, you know, we need to move on this. I'm going to keep fighting and I really, I really, I know you're going to keep fighting and and I can't wait to fight together with you.